So the DSLR revolution has come to this. You now need six grand uh, spare change to enjoy it. Democracy manifest. Or to even be excited by the rumours site. To be honest, there's no point even visiting the rumours site now unless you're a Russian oligarch. Because every camera is $6,000 or more. I just can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to spending six or seven or eight thousand pounds on another Canon mirrorless camera. So uh, what do the rest of us get? Uh, we get Panasonic at CES talking about dishwashers for two hours, followed by six seconds of the camera that shall not be named. Oh, and as for that camera who shall not be named we can assure you we'll be releasing specs before spring arrives. Even though they've already named it, just say it, the GH6. GH6 is coming out soon. It'll probably be the most expensive micro four thirds camera on planet Earth, but at least it'll be at least half of what this bastard camera costs. The Canon EOS R5C, the C standing for compliments of your previous order of the EOS R5, which set fire to your house and now is completely useless for video purposes and we want you to buy this instead because it's got a fan. See that chap over there? Okay. Get your hand off my penis! Five minutes later. So I've had a bit of a break and uh, to have a think. And uh, yeah, I still hate Canon. So we'll continue and uh, we'll talk about how wonderful the EOS R5C is going to be. Uh -huh. So yeah, there used to be a time when new cameras came out at NAB in a big fanfare and everyone would rock up at the show with a glass of champagne and Martin Scorsese would announce the next cinema EOS camera with Canon's CEO standing up on stage talking to a huge crowd of thousands of people. Nowadays, camera launches are done through uh, the art of JPEG file names, which are sniffed out by rumours sites uh, from a promo image of a man with a tripod. Now, uh, it, way better for me than NAB or this kind of fanfare. This is proper post-Covid universe, isn't it, where everything is so much better. So yeah, um, now we pick up the official confirmation through the JPEG file name that it is indeed the EOS 5C that's coming out. And uh, yeah, so whoever made this clerical error in the office of Canon UK's marketing department, thank you. And I'm looking forward to seeing your version of Taxi Driver. Alas, the Canon fanboys are very excited about this, of all things. An EOS R5 that doesn't explode. Apparently it has a fan, like the Panasonic S1H has a fan. And it has an even more compelling reason to buy it than that. And that is that the cheaper version doesn't work. So, now if I were to be unkind to Canon, which I am being, I'd suggest the EOS R5 was merely a pretend overheating problem that was done in order to protect the higher-end cinema version. It's not like Canon would ever pull a trick like that. Now, the EOS R5 with its pretend overheating problem and its battery pull trick and two hours continuous recording in 8K was surely definitely not done so that pros, video professionals would all go out and buy the much more expensive model with the fan. Just doesn't occurred to me that after the 5D Mark II came out and that nearly vanquished the entire pro broadcast division, it would never occur to me that that would happen at Canon because surely they're, they're all mirrorless now and the old professional video cameras costing $8,000, $9,000 are merely a thing of the past because the DSLR revolution So, uh, I suppose you're wondering what the specs are of this camera that you can't afford. Well, it has a 45 megapixel sensor, so that's exactly the same as the EOS R5. It has Digit, digit, digit digic X, whatever that is. Uh, it has IBIS, exactly like the EOS R5. 
which is something that it has uh, on the C70 as well as being full frame. And the Canon Log 3 is present and correct. Canon Log 2, according to the rumours site, is still being discussed. <laughs> yes, so the, the big meetings at Canon headquarters in Japan discussing whether to put Canon Log 2 on the camera. Very strange indeed. So we've got no internal NDs, which is something a Canon C70 does have. So I'm not sure if, they, I mean, they can fit an ND in that, which has an EOS R mount, but they can't fit one in this for reasons unknown. Uh, unlimited 8K at up to just 30 frames a second, uh, recording in Canon RAW light, an XFH, XFAVC uh, and MP4 for the people who buy a EOS uh, cinema camera to record in MP4 format. Uh, time code in and out. The same multi-purpose hot shoe as the EOS R3, which works with uh, the XLR module from Tascam, for example. Uh, active cooling, which is very important, otherwise it wouldn't work. And uh, Or rather, it would if they just changed the firmware timer. And we've got a full-size HDMI port as well. The LCD has been moved further back to accommodate the cooling fan. So far, so Panasonic S1H, albeit two years later with 8K instead of 6K. Why bother? But because, for exactly that reason, it is a Panasonic S1H with a Canon badge, it will sell five times more. <laughs>